What's going on guys? Knife Addiction 1890 here coming to you with another review. Today's review is going to be on the Extrema Ratio RAO clone. Uh, I bought this because I plan on getting the real one. I just wanted to see what it felt like in the hand and I definitely am digging it. Massive knife, massive folding knife. Badass. Just, I don't even, I can't even describe it. A little bit blade blade play, but not much. You know, the uh, the locking mechanism is a little bit of a bitch to, to get to close it, but you'll get used to it. Um, comes with this little pin right here to basically reinforce the, uh, it's on this side, to reinforce the fixed blade part of it. So you can make it, keep it as a fixed blade and it's, and same thing is integrated into the sheath you can have um the sheath as a fixed blade sheath or you can have it as a folding knife sheath which is a cool uh a cool feature so we'll check that sheath out real quick so we'll take this out put that in there oh, come on right, so that's what it looks like when it's in there just clip it up and you're good to go it's a pretty nice sheath actually nylon not too bad but pretty nice. Got the belt loops on the back so you can attach to your belt. So that's pretty cool. And it's actually Velcro, so it'll be nice and tight on there. And then the fixed blade part of it is on the back here. Let me just clip this up real quick. It's on the back here. And you just slide that in there just like that. Oh, shit. Did I do that wrong? Oh, it's underneath there. All right. So we go like that. And you just clip this on there and you got yourself a nice, nice little fixed blade sheath. So it's not too bad. I dig it. I like it for 28 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's a pain in the ass waiting three, four weeks for it, but it's not too bad at all. Uh, we'll go over some specs. The, uh, length, uh, length of the knife is 10.4 inches the blade length is about 3.8 inches blade thickness another thick ass blade six millimeters which is fucking awesome blade material they say it is 440c stainless steel but it doesn't say anything on the uh on the blade so i have no idea if that's true or not it's uh i don't know if it's co what, it, what it's coated with either um, the handle material is anacorderol, which is a type of aluminum, which is not too bad. Aluminum is pretty good on handles. Um, the only thing is a little bit sharper down here, but I mean, it's still, still nice. Like I said, it comes with a nylon sheath, comes with this box, which is quite funny. Um, and it's about 11, a little bit over 11 ounces. So it's a pretty heavy duty knife. Um, like I said, I bought a Bought a bunch of clones. I probably have like seven of them coming in just to check out what they're all about. I know I'm not going to get the full. I mean, I heard there's a difference between holding a real one and a fake one in your hand. And I get that. Um, but I can't afford the real one. I think for the real one's like 485 bucks. So I can't do that right now. So I decided to get a clone and a bunch of clones just to check them out. And then when I can't afford them, I will buy them. So if you're looking to do the same thing. Or if you're just into clone knives. I mean, some people collect clone knives, which is not any problem with me. I'm probably going to collect some myself, you know. But if you're looking for a cheap knife and you're not impatient, I'm impatient as shit. So I was like, oh man, come on, let's get this. Come on, let's go. You know, some of them haven't even left China yet. So it's, and it's been like two weeks. So it's a little bit of a pain he has to wait for it, but it's not too bad. So uh, if you're looking for a cheap knife, Ally Express has them. They have a bunch of them. They have uh, Striders. They have Spydercos. They have Bent. Well, Benchmades aren't all around there. They have Medford Knife and Tool. They have just a bunch of really high quality knives. Some of them are, have pretty good stuff. Like I just ordered the Diaware Solo, which I am so pumped to get. Um, that one was like 90 bucks, but shit, man. A Diaware, I'm probably going to order like two more carbon fiber scales on that one so i'm pretty excited but anyway i'm just ranting right now don't mean to take up any more of you guys' time but um like i said ally express this is a decent knife a little bit of blade play but not too much but overall quality of it is not bad at all like what you're paying for it um 28 bucks is definitely worth it if you want this so um check them out check out ally express it's a pretty decent uh 
pretty decent sight. But um, that's the end of my review, and I uh, appreciate you guys uh, watching, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.